Hi, this is Miss Claywell. Um, we're going to start skill four, which is solving systems of linear equations by graphing. So this is in your notes. Um, so our key idea is a system of linear equations is two or more equations with the same variable. Those are usually going to be x and y. The solution to a linear system is an ordered pair written as x comma y. Write each equation in the slope intercept form which we know is y equals mx plus b is our first step. So once it's in a form that we can graph it, then we do step two and graph it. Step three is find the intersections. of the two lines, where the lines intersect, that's a solution. Then we can check by substituting the values into the linear system. Um, Say they intersect once, that's our solution and that point for us was 0, 4. If they don't intersect at all, so we have parallel lines, we'd say no solution, parallel lines. If they overlap and are the same line, so I'm going to try to draw two on top of each other, it may be hard for me. Then we say that there's infinitely many solutions, or we can use the infinity, and this usually means they're the same lines because every point they intersect is a solution and there's infinitely number of points that those lines intersect or overlap. Okay, now we're getting into our first example. Our step one was to make sure these are in y equals mx plus b form, which is great. Step two was to graph them. So I'm gonna do this one in black. I'm gonna start at positive three, up five over one, Can look something like that. I'll do this line in red. I'm going to start at negative four. Oh, my mistake with my first graph is I did not do a negative slope. So that's my bad. And up, I did a positive slope. This is up to over one. We can see that these intersect at one, negative two. Here. So to check the work here, I'm gonna write each equation And then where I see an x, I'm going to put in a 1, and where I see a y, I'm going to put in a negative 2. Um, and I got a true statement. So negative 2 does equal negative 2, negative 2 does equal negative 2. So 
So this is a little bit more work because I don't have my step one of these being in Y equal MX plus B form first. So I'm going to recopy it and get it in Y equals MX plus B. So I'm going to get my Y's on one side. Then I'm going to divide everything by 2. So this is one of my equations. Y equals negative 3X plus 2. So I'm going to start at positive 2. I get a line like that. I'll do this other line in a different color. I just need to divide everything by a 3 to get Y by itself. I notice that my slopes are the same in both of these, so we'll see how that plays out. So these lines will not intersect, so these are parallel lines. They both have a slope. of negative 3, so there's no solution. Example 3, I still need to get y by itself. So I'm going to start at positive 4. And this other equation, I still want to get y by itself as well. Wait, what I'm noticing is these are the same line. So if I draw these on top of each other, I'm going to have infinitely many solutions. Um, Harry and Hermione are competing against each other to see who can learn the most spells. Hermione has already learned six spells over the summer and estimates she can learn two more spells per week. Harry spent the summer hiding from Dementors and he will learn six spells to me. He needs to learn four spells per week since he's the chosen one. At some point, Her Harry will catch up with Hermione. How long will it take and how many spells will each of them have to learn by then? So let's write an equation for each of them. Let's do Hermione. She's doing two per week and started at six. So I'm going to go ahead and start at six. Then I'll do Harry in a different color. Harry started at zero but is learning four per week. So we started at zero, then are learning four per week. They intersect at three comma twelve. So what this tells us is after three weeks. Both will know 12 spells. I feel the need to draw a little Harry Potter. There we go. Um, thank you guys for following along.